Dr. Matt from Live Spring Chiropractic here today with EJ Speed. EJ plays for the Colts, if you couldn't tell by his shirt and his pants. And we've been taking care of him through the off season. We're gonna show what a full adjustment looks like, not just to his spine, but also to the extremities to keep him primed. Uh, before we start though with the full adjustment, I'm just gonna ask you, EJ, uh, maybe how this has fit into your off season training or why you do some of this stuff during the off season. I had opened me up like mentally just like being able to take care of my body and making sure everything is aligned um, like straight up and down motions is very like crucial with like back placement and all that type of stuff and being able to stay upright so like um, I had some slight pains in my neck from like contact during the season uh, in the last three or four weeks we've been here that has uh, released and uh, hips and dorsiflexion what, and everything. What about the shoulder? What you're telling, that was yeah, kind of um, a cool I thing. I had a torque <laughs> problem with my shoulder. and um, you used to play quarterback in yeah, college, right? Uh, in high school and my first years of college. So like um, the torque, when I first when I first came, the torque was kind of like hurting to follow through. And like now it just, it cleared up like perfectly in the last three weeks. We've been laughing about it. He's looking mm -hmm. for it there and he's like, wait, it's not there. Yeah. So that's a good thing. Uh, we see these things change with consistency over time. Uh, EJ used the word dorsiflexion for all the lay people out there. I'll describe what that is. With the ankle, it's bringing it into an up position, flexing it toward our head. And that motion is needed for pretty much everything. When we squat, that's the first thing that happens. When we're running, we're doing that as well. So we've been working on improving that motion on EJ's left ankle. So today we're gonna to show the adjustment, but then also a couple of the things outside of here we're having him work on to help with that. So let's start you face down, please, EJ. We'll get you adjusted first. Okay. And starting down here, looking at that leg length and that right one is shorter here than his left. And come here, feel for motion. And the cool thing with this, with what we're doing is as we restore motion or improve motion or range of motion, that translates to things like better performance we've seen with some of our other videos some of our other athletes things we talk about a lot is performance but how do we get there motion improving it so we're going to start with that right hip and that's the one with the leg short so for this i'm going to and we're going to keep you face down today ej you're going to feel the table pop up from underneath you and then drop straight down here so the only sound you're going to hear with that is the drop of the table itself. It's that right SI joint. And then as we come back here, we can see that the legs there have evened out. That's what we want. And then coming back through the spine, I'm going to be right there. Just mid back, big breath in for me, please. Good, and let it all go. And then let's have you turn onto your back, please, and check the neck. And we'll show at the end too some of the stuff we've been doing with the shoulder. I may not need it today. Shoulder's getting so much better. And with the neck, we're just saying he's feeling that improvement. Still a little bit going on right there in the lower neck. Relax your head. Right, and he's relaxed. Look at this. He's just he's ready for a nap. <laughs> so let's check. We're gonna check the whole upper extremity with sports and chiropractic, and maybe something that differentiates a sports chiropractor from as a standard chiropractor. Uh, we're trained and well versed in extremities, so we're gonna look at his extremities and make sure that they're in the right alignment and that we're getting the proper muscle engagement. Because when a joint is in the right alignment, it translates to better muscle engagement, and we want that for performance. So we're gonna run through a series of checks here. I'll call it out as we go. Uh, EJ with this arm, let's have it straight up in the air and then palm out toward me. Good, hold there, I'm gonna push straight out, don't let me. Okay, good, I'm gonna push up and out diagonally, don't let me, good there. I'm gonna rotate the palm toward the foot. Hold there, I'm gonna push toward your foot, don't let me. Good, make a fist for me please. We're gonna rotate here, I'm gonna push straight down, don't let me little bit there and then 
bend the elbow, keep the fist. I'm gonna push down toward the floor, don't let me. So good there. So only one thing showing up. It's out on the angle of the rib cage. Uh, that muscle that we tested was the serratus anterior. And yeah. Any tenderness in there, EJ? A little bit. Mm -hmm. So all these things, again, are little things that might be missed. And to him, this isn't something where he'd be coming in saying, hey, this hurts. If it's just a slight misalignment, it can be there for months even before we'll feel some of the effects from it. So if we can find these things sooner and keep them in the right alignment and primed, it'll help him out for his athletic performance. So there we go. Just in the right spot, in the right direction, that's all it needs. And then let's have you hand straight up. EJ, for me, make a fist, please. Rotate this, I'm gonna push down, don't let me. There we go. And to you, EJ, so maybe you can say on camera how this feels, or if you notice maybe, because it's the difference when something is not engaging, mm -hmm. and then after we correct it, what would you say, how does it feel to you? Uh, the, I feel like it got, it's like activated to stay more firm than when we first started as like, you know. Like it's easier the first yeah. time for me to push it down. Mm -hmm. Now I'm pushing the harder. Once the muscles activated, I feel like it tenses up. It like kind of like, you know, engages for me. Good, and, and that's what we want, yeah. Uh, let's have this hand up, and palm out toward me. Good, hold there, I'm gonna push straight out, don't let me. Good, and I'm gonna push up and out diagonally, don't let me, and not as much there. And I don't know if you feel that also. I'm gonna push toward your foot, don't let me. Good, there, make a fist. I'm gonna push straight down, don't let me. And a little bit there also. Bend this, keep the fist, I'm gonna push down toward the floor, don't let me. Okay, so some stuff with the shoulder today, and this is that shoulder that initially had symptoms. Have you had any kind of problems with it uh, lately or no, with throwing? Okay, problem. good. So this is where we see, even as we start to change uh, the function of his body, whether he's feeling it or not, if it's showing up, we're gonna address it. So it's on the rib cage here, that first one when we pushed your hand up and out. This joint's called the costochondral joint. It's where the cartilage of the ribs meets the bone of the ribs. So that right there might be a little tender. And same with that, right there. Sometimes we'll do these on ha by hand, uh, sometimes we'll use an instrument. As long as we get that correction right, we'll see that muscle engagement change. And then there was some on the outside here also. So put that hand out there for me. And what I'm feeling for again is motion, muscle tone, and then just that positioning of the rib cage. When you know what normal is, abnormal stands out very, so, so you feel that too, EJ? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then palm out toward me. Let's recheck these. I'm gonna push up and out diagonally, don't let me. There we go. Make a fist, bend that. I'm gonna push straight down, don't let me. Good, there, no big difference on that one. And then keep the fist for me. And then this one, we didn't correct, but I wanna recheck it, is the AC joint out here. I'm gonna push down, don't let me. Yeah, we're gonna move that too. EJ, you're a linebacker, yeah? Yep. So position too, with anything in life, how we spend our time matters. How he spends his time even on the field, the things he's doing is different compared to others that we're working with. So we take that into account too. So hold that, I'm gonna push straight down toward the ground, don't let me. Good, much better there, that's what we want. I'm going to check lower extremity now. We're gonna come to the feet, so when we mention dorsiflexion, let's actually see it, EJ, on your own. Try to bring your feet up, and then let's bring them together here so you can see how it's more limited on this side. This is your left side. And that's what we've been working on. So we've given him some things outside of here to do. I'm gonna show some foot adjustments with him today. We switch up the way we're doing it. I'm gonna add motion to your foot with this. Any injuries to the ankle also? Uh, no. But there were things. Yeah, I had it in cast for, 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 for like six weeks. Cast it for six weeks, and it, six it was a Jones weeks. fracture, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And you can see out here what that is, is a fracture of this bone right here, you know, that fourth or fifth metatarsal. 
and you actually didn't you have it on the other side too yes mm-hmm. yeah so feet are so important especially in athletics whether someone's feeling something or not we want to make sure they're ideal motion wise a little more there And then now on your own, let's have you bring your feet toward your head also. So, <laughs> I don't know if you feel the difference there, but we can see it an extreme amount from here and on camera, if we get that right angle, I'm sure you could see that before and then that difference and after. It's less than his right, but it's moving so much further toward his head. And uh, Simona, who's on camera, just said wow out loud. For We usually don't say the behind the scenes things on YouTube, but this one we can have on there, wow. <laughs> Sit right there, I'm gonna bring it down toward me. Good. So, uh, these I'm gonna bring up, and on most of our football players, or soccer players too, they're getting stepped on on the top, so a lot of the midfoot the metatarsals we'll find have dropped down. So we want to bring them up and that's where just grabbing the foot and pulling on it, we don't want to do that. It's specific for everything. And EJ, your toe, right? Yeah, it's my left one. Yeah, on this? Uh-huh. On the left one, yeah. Okay, this is the unofficial announcement. I believe everyone in the NFL has turf toe or at some point, so. And all that is excessive strain on that big toe. And we've given him some home recommendations too. Um, I'm gonna show you at the end here what he's wearing on his feet. You saw our last video with uh, Cody Sensabaugh. He's got the same thing, he's doing them too. One down here, good. And then this is gonna come up. So this is a little bit uncomfortable one, but on that arch, this inside bone here, we're going to lift that back up where it needs to be. That's the medial cuneiform for all you nerds out there. EJ knows we don't usually talk like that in here. <laughs> Today we do. Okay, good there. And then I want to recheck the hip. We've been working on this right hip again for mobility. So when we say hip, uh, in lay terms, most people mean back here, but the hip joint is really in the front right here. So if you looked in the beginning here today, we actually did a, address that SI joint in the back, but we're gonna check the front also. So it's better than where it's been. We've been working on that to get that. We've been looking at internal and external rotation. Yeah. So this moves well, and there's been no problem with that the whole time. And I'm getting that in relation to this. And this is back with it, yeah, motion-wise. Mm-hmm. It was significantly reduced. I'd say about half of what it is now mm-hmm. when we first started working with you. Does it f- feel different here, or are you still yeah, having a little bit? It's a little pinch, but it's, it feels like the rotation and stuff is way better. Than yeah, the and so that motion's good. I'm gonna leave it alone there. A lot of it now is just, the corrective exercises to get that joint to restabilize. Um, EJ, with the feet though, let's have you stand for me, please. Let me show those on camera too, what you're wearing on your toes. So I've got the same brand, I love these things, Yoga Body Toe Separators. I think she just wore them in here. Did you, where's yeah. the other one? Uh, I left the other one at home. <laughs> Wear them both. Yeah. But with those, when you wear them on your feet, you're just reshaping the foot into the ideal form. And then uh, let's show some of the things we're having to do with the pulsing. So right with this, where just one leg is back and coming forward since that motion's decreased. And then even with a band when he's outside of here, yeah, exactly, wrapping that around this part of his ankle and he's pulsing into it there so we can just introduce more of that motion that we want and do his ankle. And it's so much better also than where it was with everything here. I think we've been working together for about three, four weeks yeah. and already seeing a huge change. Um, and we'll have another couple weeks to come. Cool, awesome. So that's what an adjustment front to back looks like. Thanks for watching. Mm-hmm.
guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to watch more, click the subscribe button below. Make sure to leave the comments, and if you have a video you'd like us to make, we're open to doing it. Just let us know what you want to see. Yeah! Mm. <laughs>